Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be covering another quick and brief tutorial on how to install Task Force Zero Head Radio. Alright, so first things first, you're going to head to armaholic.com. Then you're going to navigate yourself to Task Force Zero Head Radio. Alright, so from this page, you're going to go ahead and download it. Alright, so I'll leave a link for this page down in the description below. Alright, so now that you've got it downloaded, it should appear right on your desktop just like this. Alright, so from here, you're going to go ahead and 7-zip this right open. You want to extract here. Alright, now that we're done with the extraction uh, process, you want to throw this up here and bring this right here. Alright, so now that we have the extracted folder, what you want to do is head to your ARM3 directory. And yet again, that is in this PC, local disk, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, ARM3. Alright, now that we're here, we're just going to open this up. You want to navigate yourself to ARM3. And you're going to want to just take these two. Alright, so this is our ARM3 directory right here. You're going to want to throw at Task Force Radio into your. Hang on. You want to throw into your modifications folder at Task Force right in here. Alright, and now you're going to want to take the user config and throw it right into your ARM3 directory. So it should look like this. In your modifications, you have at Task Force Radio. And in your ARM3 directory, you also have the user config. Alright. Um, if you already have CBA included, you do not need it, but if you don't, you will need to drag this over into your modifications. Alright, we're done with the ARMA side of it. Now what you want to do is look for your TeamSpeak 3 client. Um, if you plan on using TFAR, you will need TeamSpeak 3. So, uh, you need to have the icon. I'm not sure how to actually locate this without right-clicking and hitting Open File Location. So I just go there, Open File Location. Alright, so now that we're here, what you want to do is head to Plugins. Alright, here we are. We have Vanilla Plugins. What you want to do is open up the mod. Here we are. And if you're on the modern TeamSpeak, you're going to head to TeamSpeak 3 Client. If you're on the old TeamSpeak, you're obviously going to head to old TeamSpeak. But since we're using the modern one, the most updated one, we're going to go here. Alright, so now that we're here, simply all you're going to do is highlight all these. Throw it in there. And actually go into your Plugins and throw them all into here. So you can actually delete this folder. Alright, so you should have Radio Sounds, Radio Sounds New, Radio Sounds Old, then you should have Win32 and Win64 for TFAR. Alright, so depending on how you want to set it up, you can delete one of these and get the other one. It doesn't matter how you do, there's actually other custom ones on the web if you guys want to replace your Radio Sounds, but this is just how you do it by default. Alright, so now that we're done with the plugins, we are done with T, uh, TFAR for TeamSeek and we are done with TFAR for Arma 3. So now you want to go through the actual installation of it on uh, your uh, TeamSeek. So you want to boot up your TeamSeek, give it administrative rights. Alright, now that we're here, what you want to do is settings, plugins, hit reload all, close, settings, plugins, check TFAR, close, exit. Start again, and now it should be checked. Head to whatever team speak you have to head to. Welcome back to the here. server. Now Select your name, and here and it is. Task Force uh, radio status 0 0.9.8, correct, uh, connected, and Someone play. All right, the there you go, and this is your version. That's all set up. Disengaging simulation. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much concludes this quick and brief tutorial on how to install uh, and uh, properly utilize uh, TFAR for Arma 3. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.